Hello and welcome to the National Weather Service Houston Galveston Weather Briefing. This weather briefing is going to take a look at the potential for heavy rainfall for the middle of the week, October 30th through the 31st, and what could affect Halloween. This first slide shows the forecast jet stream pattern for Thursday. The uh, main jet stream runs from basically the Midwest back down towards West Texas through, through Oklahoma. And the main thing to take away from this slide is generally on the back right edge of this uh, higher jet stream winds. Uh, we call this the right entrance in region into the jet stream. This is usually where we have quite a bit of lift and upward motion, and that is very much needed for the potential for heavy rainfall. This forecast map for Thursday also at the surface shows that we have a cold front that will be moving into Texas and the model is producing quite a bit of precipitation over north and northeast Texas even reaching down into southeast Texas. So we have strong jet stream with lots of lift from that and we also have lots of lift from this frontal boundary moving in. All we need is a lot more moisture and guess what we will have a lot more moisture. This map is a forecast map of precipitable water which is a measure of moisture and we have basically over two inches of precipitable water working into our area and for this time of year that puts that at the two standard deviations above normal so quite a bit of precipitation uh, can be expected with this kind of setup and uh, so we will be watching the potential for heavy rainfall and with the front moving through uh, some of these storms could be moving along that front and training which would also produce heavy rainfall and localized flooding in some areas so how much rainfall really hard to see at this point most of it is going to be in northeast texas basically starting out wednesday evening through thursday midnight again most of it in northeast texas but some reaching down into uh, areas north of houston again it looks like northeast texas will uh, see the bulk of the precipitation going from midnight to 6 a.m. Thursday and then during the day Thursday on Halloween a little bit more precipitation in East Texas as that boundary slides down and we can even see that for Thursday evening uh, the kiddos might luck out without any precipitation uh, for Halloween trick-or-treating trick or but we will have to monitor that Again, a lot of text, but basically what we're saying is that there are a lot of parameters coming together for heavy rainfall Thursday night or Wednesday night into Thursday. We got the strong lift from the jet stream. We got a cold front pushing through and lots of moisture. And when all that comes together, that's when we can get the threat for heavy rainfall. We're mainly looking at areas north of Interstate 10, uh, say north of a Brenham to Cleveland line. Uh, it's not to say the Houston area is out of the woods, but uh, we'll have to monitor that. Again, if storms train along the front, some of these same areas could get multiple rain vents. The storms with the high amounts of, pre of moisture could produce rain rates of one to two inches an hour. So at this time, it looks like maybe one to two inches with these storms. That isolated four could see that go higher. And that's really what we want to hit home is that there is that potential for higher rainfall amounts. Uh, four inches would not be, be out of the question in some of the isolated areas. So with that, we will be monitoring for flash flooding across the area. Thank you for listening to this briefing, and please check back for updates.